Hi, this is Jason Ahrens, and uh, I'm going through the steps of uh, the uh, Contact Center Express 7.0 Configuration Guide. And I'm actually on page 1142, uh, and uh, the first thing that I did was stop the uh, engine. Uh, so if I go into uh, services.msc, uh, I'll see that there is a Cisco UCCX node manager. And if I go to the node manager here, I'll actually right-click and hit stop. Now notice I've already stopped it. All the other services have uh, stopped, so I've completed that task. Then I went into Control Panel Network and changed the IP address. So if I look at my network connections, right-click Properties, go to IPv4, Properties, and I've changed my IP address, and then I rebooted, uh, well, I haven't rebooted the box. All I've done is change the IP address. Um, so that's kind of a basic uh, Windows uh, task is changing the IP address on a server. Um, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Program Cisco, and I'm going to go to CCX Administrator, and I'm going to go to the CCX Serviceability tool. And CCX Serviceability is going to open up here. Should see the node information, but I'm not. Okay, this just took a while to uh, to pop up uh, to show the data. Um, so what I need to do is look for the node information, and uh, we're going to take the IP address and we're going to enter the new IP address. 10, 170, all I'm doing is changing it from 92 to dot 121. Oop, wait a minute, wait a minute, no, no, no. I actually don't want to go to node 2. It's really node 1 that I want to change. And node 2 is going to become 122. And then lastly, I want to run the post install. So we'll go back to program files, Cisco desktop. Go to the bin and post install.exe. So again, we're changing the IP address of uh, UCCX, the primary is going to become 121, and the secondary is going to become 122. We're simply asked to change the IP addresses of uh, UCCX from 9192 to 121 and 122.
and we should see the new IP address and all the services. Looks good. Client installs reset. Now we'll exit out of the post install.exe. And now we're going to go to the slapd.conf file. And in the, we're going to search for replica host. All right, we'll save all this. And then lastly, we'll reboot the system. We'll reinstall the CAD clients and uh, reinstall the historical reporting client as well. And that concludes changing the IP address of a UCCX server. Again, everything is documented in the Contact Center Express uh, configuration guide uh, 7.0, uh, page 11-42 through 11.44.